a picture worth 1,000 words, when the only word needed by three inside this Franklin apartment was help. Uh, neighbors uh, apparently were uh, notified the occupants uh, who were in the duplex. Inside the roaring fire, three people. I ran straight out and ran to the person connected, which was Jeff, and started beating on his door to make sure he was out. Casey Kirby lives nearby. Her home caught fire two years ago. She tells me she was willing to do anything to make sure her neighbors got out. I was beating on the front door and the guy's house that actually caught fire kicked in his back door to get him up. With everyone out, crews arrived at the scene and worked to put out the flames. The two apartments behind me are completely destroyed by an early morning fire. Now, fire officials are working to determine what exactly started this fire. As for the homeowner, he says he might have an idea. I spoke with the man who lives there. He told me a dryer might have caught fire. He tried putting it out but wasn't able to. It's a tragedy that didn't have to happen. Whether it's a dryer fire, heating, ventilation, water heaters, all of that. All of those home systems need to be maintained, uh, and if they're not, unfortunately, these types of uh, emergencies can happen. Through the horrific situation, a neighborhood pulled together. She went home and got him some socks, and because he only got out with one shoe, and my husband got the other neighbor socks because he was sound asleep when he was beating on his door. But he got out safely, and he tells me he's grateful for that. Meanwhile, the American Red Cross has been called in to help. Jake Ryle, 5 on 2.